can see it, the skateboard's packaged within another box. It's actually beautifully packaged for protection. Okay, just opens up like this. And you can see inside the box there's a nice piece of thick cardboard on here. And there she is. Wow. Um, this is going to be amazing. It's a lot wider than I thought. So uh, it's quite a big board. It's not a small board. Okay, take it out. Have a look. Okay, take the plastic off. Here's the uh, protector. This is obviously the remote control. And there is the charger. And I did ask Leo for an Australian plug, as you can see there. Aussie okay, plug. there we have it. Unboxed. Big outside box, the manufacturer's box, the SCADI charger remote, charger for the remote booklet. Okay, let's test it out in the street. We'll give you a speed test right now. finally arrived there it is it doesn't look really big but it is big and it is heavy it's uh, about 7.9 kilos weighs a bit um, this is a solid piece of engineering hardware this is not some cheap knockoff Chinese copy this is actually a very hybrid high quality piece of um, computerized electronic hardware now look um, from the outset, I'm not affiliated with anything. It's not nothing to do with me, the company. I'll recommend it's just one I got from Alibaba. Um, I've got no, I, I paid for this myself. So I'm just giving you a full review, an honest review, a non-biased review on what I think of this. People online are sort of saying, oh, that drops out. They're not that great. Cheap, cheap, cheap. This is, look, rubbish. This thing is up there with anything. It's actually one third of the price of a booster board, one third of the price of a Evolve board. Um, it's a direct sort of sort of copy of the Genesis design with a pull-out battery. Um, it's also, you know, it's really, really well made. So uh, the speed on this is just what I was after. I wanted something really powerful with a lot of speed that could take me across the ground without any effort at all. This does it. So um, I'm going to do the review like I always do without any no prompt card, no re rehearsal, just one take uh, and one on the first take. So if it doesn't look good, that's because I don't, I don't do editing. Um, okay, remote control, a little bit flimsy, a little bit thin, a little bit plasticky. <clears throat> I put this little camera strap on, makes it a bit more harder to lose and a bit bigger, so to speak. Um, Otherwise, it plugs into a, uh, a little USB to charge. 30 minutes charge on that, fully charges. <clears throat> this one here, battery's about three hours. Um, 
instruction booklet, pretty good. It goes through everything, all the stuff, um, you know, all the stats and everything. And look, to be honest, they're saying it does, you know, 20, 22 miles an hour or whatever. This is doing about 42 to 44 kilometers an hour. That is insane. This is as fast as anything I've ever been on. Um, it's also very smooth and the braking system is really good on it. Um, I can honestly say without a doubt that this is one of the best buys out there. And I've seen people online say it drops out. Some European guy was saying, oh, it drops out. This is rubbish. This is actually a Mark II version two. Now, Cool Wheel don't really talk about their version ones to, uh, they're pretty humble, but this is actually Mark II version two. It has an upgraded controller with a couple of microchips added in there for more powerful response. Uh, it has a, it has a, 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 probably a slightly modified and better designed hub system uh, that is really, really effortless. And uh, they're two 250 watt motors that work in sync. They are incredibly powerful. Uh, it also had the old, antenna came out the side here in a bit of a bit of wire now the antenna has been built into the top of the deck here and it's been cut through uh, it's on the surface it never drops out nothing drops out this is just just totally responsive um, it's like a terminator version 18623 virtually flawless <laughs> so this is actually a really good really good skateboard now a german guy online i noticed took this all apart trying to find every fault with it the batteries the way it's wired up in series the circuit board the, the motherboard and he put meters across things and I, i'll send the link down below and he just found it so well made and so incredibly detailed in its, in its approach to its design now um, these um, come in at a very, very good price. They come in at about $569. That's US, so converting to Australian dollars, it's gonna be around about $700. Now, I got free shipping because there was, a, there was a, some sort of festival on and all the DHL, FedEx were giving free shipping. I recommend doing that deal because shipping can add another $200 to them. Um, I spoke to Leo, which I'll put a link below, from Shen Shen Technology, who invented, designed, and manufactured this particular board, the Cool Wheel. Uh, she was great, and you know, it's really efficient. Alibaba's safe as anything to order from. Everything arrives, it's all tracked on the app, it's terrific. So, um, just some stats on this, 42Ks, there's no slow and high speed, it's just one speed. There is something you can do though, on the on the button down here, which you can see just under here, that little, that little button. Uh, if you push it, when it's off, if you push it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, it puts into hyperdrive, like some sort of crazy wild hyper mode. And that I tried, and yes, it is very quick, and that will get you 45 kilometers an hour, or I'm not sure that is in the American friends, but it's, it's damn fast. Yeah, I wasn't wearing a, he a, a helmet. I agree, I wasn't having pads on my knees. Look, I've been doing this for 43 years. I've been riding skateboards um, since the mid 70s when Tony Alva first jumped on the skateboard. I'm quite um, you know, proficient and quite safe experience in riding a board, but I wouldn't advise anyone to sort of get on this without a helmet or, or, or pads. And be careful of cars because you can't trust anyone out there. Um, and this is also a very good battery system on this. This battery system is a slide out system. It's a 120 kilowatt or watt hour, whatever the rate, whatever it is, it's a 120 watt mo uh, battery. That's what you need to know because on planes now they only allow uh, these batteries in hand luggage and carry on. They don't allow these things in cargo check in because they could blow up in the plane. So this you can take out, put in your hand luggage, your backpack, go through and get it approved, and then this can just go through and check in. Um, you can also have buy an extra battery, which I haven't bothered about, put in your backpack. If you're 25 kilometers away and you need it, you can just click it in and just, you know, ride all the way home. Um, these things so far, the it's quite amazing what sort of distance I'm getting on this. I'm getting, you know, a good three hours. I've been riding for an hour and a half now. You can still see the little battery near this, two little green lights. There's three green lights is full and two is three quarters and one is obviously low. Um, it seems to have no problem in holding a charge for a long time. Um, these are an incredibly well-designed and beautiful skateboard and I can thoroughly recommend this for the entry level of electric skateboards for an experienced rider. I don't think you need to go to the $2,000 mark. These things come in at, like I said, a third of the price and they are incredible. So the new um, hub system of um, generating the power to these things is what everyone's doing now with a hub motor. They're no longer using the 
um, you know, the, the belt drive and the big belt on there and the belts make a lot of noise, they lose the torque between the belt and the wheel. This hub motor, it's all direct drive from the, from the wheel directly to the ground um, and this is the way they're going. This is the future of electric skateboards and this is the this is the technology that's leading the way. I think the Booster Board 2 is coming out with this design, so is Evolve, and you're gonna go through hub regenerative braking uh, systems now. So um, yeah, that's you're at the leading edge. So definitely get yourself one of these. Um, they are an incredible skateboard. I'm so impressed with it. Um, there's, there's nothing I can say bad about it. Now, star-wise, I'm gonna give it eight stars out of 10. The reason is because I don't give 10 anything unless it's, well, I don't know, I don't know what would be a 10, but the reason I'm getting eight because the remote control's a little bit flimsy and thin. However, the response is accurate to the, you know, to virtually the thou uh, when you're moving it through that, that, that range. The braking is great. Um, also the fact uh, it's not an, a really heavy brand name like a booster board or Evolve so you've got sort of that issue a little bit which might deter some people from wanting to ride it. Um, but I think Cool Wheel Bill will be quite a big name in the future with electric skateboards, I've got no, no question there. Uh, manufacturing, design, everything was spot on and perfect. This was just one hell of a well designed, well made and well, um, you know, technology advanced machine. However, there was some problem with assembly and um, these little tiny, uh, as you can see on here, these little trucks have four little screws to hold them in. Uh, when you get yours, just make sure they're tight. Mine was loose. Um, and when I went through and had a look here, yeah, the, the screw on the other side was a, you know, see I've actually had to cut back the grip a little bit and then there was an Allen key and I went through a bag of Allen keys and found the right one and just tightened them all up with a socket because they were loose. Now, that may be something that Cool will do because of, you know, when they're traveling, they may, uh, expanding the wood, might they might want it to sort of, you know, not be tight for cracking the deck. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll probably, um, uh, big to differ on that one. I think it's just the guy forgot to tighten them. Other than that, um, it's incredible. So eight stars out of 10. This, I'm gonna give a full, 100% um, full on um, hit with it and see how we go. And I'll give you an update on, on the quality and, the, and how it's maintaining itself. Um, and drop some comments in below if you want any questions about it, how to order it, um, any questions about the design. Um, and also there's a link I'll put in below to a, to a German guy who went through and pulled this apart and was looking for every possible fault and found nothing but, uh, you know, high quality engineering in this thing. So yeah, cool wheel, done well, incredible electric skateboard and I can thoroughly recommend it and happy skating guys and we'll see you next time for the review on possibly the ring doorbell the new doorbell that rings your house on your phone anywhere in the world and has a sensor and security system they are incredible and like I said I only just review things that are what I believe are the best in their class so you have to worry about comparisons I'll bring to you the best of the particular uh, uh, product in its range and then I'll review it for you Thanks for watching the channel. See you next time and uh, happy skating. Safe skating.